Hi, this is Miss Moses, and I'm here for our Monday afternoon math lesson. And we are moving on from addition, and we're going to do our week all about subtraction. So when we do subtraction, we use the minus symbol, minus, and then we still use equals to figure out how many are left. So today, students will be able to solve subtraction word problems. So we will solve subtraction word problems. So I'm going to read a story problem, a word problem, and then we're going to solve it together. So I'm going to first show you how to solve two different subtraction word problems, and then we'll do two together, and then at the end there will be two for you to do by yourself. Let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to read the word problem. Kevin has six balloons. Four balloons pop. If the balloon is popping, that means it's going away. For subtraction today, when we're subtracting, it's going to be going away. So Kevin has six balloons. Four balloons pop. How many balloons does he have now? So first I'm gonna think about how many balloons am I starting with? Well, I see here that Kevin has six balloons. So we'll have to show six balloons. And then four balloons are going to pop. So that means four balloons are going to go away. Four balloons are being subtracted. So first I'm going to show the six balloons that Kevin has. And I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kevin has six balloons. Oh, they're so pretty and blue. I love it. And then what happens to his balloons? Four of them pop. And then we want to know how many will Kevin have if four balloons pop? Oh no, four balloons are gonna pop. Watch them pop. One, two, three, four. If four balloons pop, Kevin has how many balloons now? He has two balloons now. One, two. So Kevin started with six balloons, four balloons popped. Now he has two. Say so six minus four equals two. Okay, I'm going to do another one. First, I'll read my word problem. Deidre sees seven birds. Seven birds fly away. How many birds does she see now? Hmm. Well, first we need to think about how many birds did Deidre see to start? Well, she saw seven birds and then some of them flew away. Seven of the birds flew away. And then we need to figure out how many birds does she see now? So first I'm gonna show the seven birds that Deidre saw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then how many birds are flying away? Seven birds are flying away. Watch the seven birds fly away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven birds flew away. How many birds does Deidre see now? Deidre sees, there aren't any. That means that Deidre sees zero birds now. Or I could say that seven minus seven equals zero. Whoa. Okay, so now we're going to solve some subtraction word problems together. All right, get your brain ready. Let's read. Isabella has eight balloons. Five balloons pop. How many balloons does she have now? Hmm. So I want you to look 
in the word problem. How many balloons is Isabella starting with? It says Isabella has, yeah, it says that she has eight balloons. Very good. And then what happens to some of those balloons? They, yeah, they pop. How many of those balloons pop? Do you know? Yeah, five balloons pop. So Isabella has eight balloons and then five of them pop. So five are going away. And then we want to know how many balloons does she have now? So first we'll show the eight balloons that Isabella has to start. You count with me as we show eight balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We showed eight balloons because Isabella has eight balloons. And then what happens to some of her balloons? They pop. Oh goodness, how many of those do we need to pop? Five of them? Okay, let's pop five. One, two, three, four, five. Five balloons popped. Five balloons are being subtracted. What does that equal? How many balloons does she have now? Isabella has one, two, how many? Three balloons now. Very good. So we did eight balloons minus five balloons equals three. All right, here's the next one. Oh, it's about Charlie. Charlie sees four birds. Three birds fly away. How many birds does he see now? Okay, so you tell me. How many birds does Charlie see to start? I underlined it for you. Yeah, it's four birds. Charlie sees four birds. And then what happens to some of those birds? They do, they do, they fly away. They're going away, they're being subtracted. How many of them fly away? Three of them fly away. All right, so first we'll show the four birds that Charlie saw. Count with me. One, two, three, four. So we showed four birds that Charlie saw. And then you told me that three of those birds are flying away. So count with me as the three fly away. One, whoa, two, three. How many birds does he see now? Charlie sees one bird now. Or we could say that four minus three equals one. You're gonna solve this next one by yourself. Are you ready? It's time for the you do. Okay, I'll read it to you and I'll underline it. And then I want you to try to solve by yourself. And I'll do parts of it with you. Leah has five balloons. Five balloons pop. How many balloons does she have now? Hmm. So she has, she has that to start. And then those ones pop. How many balloons does she have now? So you could either draw or you could think to show. Hmm. Did you figure it out? Five balloons, five balloons pop. How many balloons does she have now? Hmm. Did you get an answer? Okay, let's try it together. So five balloons, we need to show that she has to start. One, two, three, four, five. Now you tell me, what did you do to those five balloons? You popped them? Okay, let's watch them pop. Maybe on your paper, you crossed them off to show that they were going away because you can't actually pop the balloons like I can on the computer. Maybe you just crossed them off. How many did you cross off? Oh, you crossed off five? Great. Let's do the five being popped. One, 
two, three, four, five. <gasps> How many did you get that she has now? Leah has, did you get that too? Did you get zero? Hooray for you. Leah has zero balloons now. Okay, next one for you to do by yourself. It's about David. David sees five birds. Three birds fly away. How many birds does he see now? Okay, so I'm underlining for you. You're doing this. That many birds he sees to start. That many birds fly away. How many birds does he see now? So maybe you're drawing the five birds that David sees to start, and then you're doing something to three of them to find an answer. <gasps> Did you get an answer? Do you know how many birds he sees now? Let's look together. So one, two, three, four, five, and then to three of them, you probably crossed them off. Three you crossed off to figure out how many he sees now, but I can make them fly away on the computer. One, two, three. And then did you get the same answer about how many birds David sees now? Did you get two, one, two? Good for you. Great job, kindergartners, solving these subtraction word problems today. I'm going to put a couple of these a couple more word problems in under the YouTube video. If your mom or dad wants to write them down, you could solve them at your house. Okay, I'll see you again tomorrow for Tuesday's lesson. Okay, bye.